The following is the story of Tokimasa's prayer at Endoshima from Chapter 5 of the Taiheiki. Now that the realm had fallen beneath the sway of military houses in the latter days of Buddhist law, the dominion of the land passed multiple times between Minamoto and Taira. Those that rose up would either perish within a single generation or be struck down, for it is the way of heaven to diminish what is full. And yet, for nine generations, the family of the Sagami lay monk have protected the realm. This is the reason why. Long ago, when the government at Kamakura began, Hojo Shiro Tokimasa dedicated himself to prayer at Enoshima, so his descendants might be blessed forever. On the night of the 21st day, a fair and stately lady suddenly appeared before him dressed in a robe lined with willow green over a red skirt. She spoke to Tokimasa, saying, In a past life, you were a monk at Hakoni Shrine, who achieved rebirth by meritoriously copying 66 copies of the Lotus Sutra to be presented to the sacred places of the 66 provinces. Long shall your descendants rule over Japan with might and prosperity, and yet if they are not righteous, then they will not endure for more than seven generations. If you doubt my words, look upon the sacred places in the provinces where the sutras were placed. So she spoke, then turned away without waiting for an answer. All at once, that same stately lady changed into a great snake 200 feet long and entered the sea. When Tokimasa gazed upon where the snake had passed, he found three large scales laying there. Rejoicing at the granting of his request, he made those scales into the crest for his banner. Those are the three scales of the Hojo family. With this revelation from Benzaiten, Tokamasa sent men to look upon the Lotus Sutras residing in the sacred places of the provinces. How strange it was that the name Tokamasa was written in an archaic form for upon the dedicatory cylinders was written, the great teacher of the law, Jisei. It was due to the divine favor of Benzaiten at Endoshima, and the good work of a past life, that the Sagami lay monk continued to rule even after seven generations. But in regard to the strange doing of Takatoki, hasn't the time come for the Hojo clan to be cut off? For the seventh generation has already passed, and the ninth generation has now been reached.